Hello there, everybody. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to install Sonic Ether's Unbelievable Shaders version 10.1, as well as the obvious shader mod itself. And this is going to be for Minecraft version 1.7.5. However, this is the same process for 1.7.4. So to begin, we're going to go inside of our official launcher here, go to New Profile. I'm going to name this 1.7.5 and use Release version 1.7.5. Save profile, make sure we choose the 1.7.5 profile, hit play so it creates the files, and when it opens, we can go ahead and close it. So first of all, if you want to have Optifine installed, you want to install that first. So we're going to just double click on this, go to install, okay, and double click on the share bot installer, yes. So if you can't double click on it, typically you should have Java already installed, but you can also right click, go to open with, and then choose the Java platform SE binary. This is what will open the file to execute it. So next let's open up the launcher again, and then it will default to the 1.7.5 Optifine and shader mod profile. Now if we go to edit profile, we'll see that there is a new release here, which includes 1.7.5. Optifine HD UD1 and shader mod 2.3.15. And you can see here we have a new directory for that particular version. Now we can go ahead and run this. Now inside of here, there's still some things we need to do. First of all, go to Options, Shaders, and go to Open Shader Packs folder. Now inside of here, we take our new shader file and drag it in. Once you go back in here, it will show up and you just select it. And then we have some other options here. Now, normal maps and specular maps relate to custom resource packs. In these resource packs, there will be special files that are used by the shader to enhance the visuals. For instance, specular maps will have highlights for really reflective objects. Normal maps will change the geometry of that texture to make them seem like they have extra detail or depth. Now, Render Res Multiplier and Shadow Res Multiplier relate to how the game is being rendered. So, Render Res Multiplier at 1, for instance, will render the exact resolution of the window. So, if you're running the game at 1080p, it will be rendering 1080p. If you have at 2 times or 2.0, it will render the game at 3840 by 2160, which is basically 4K or just shy of 4K. If you have it at 0.5, it will be rendering Minecraft at 960 by 540. So this can be a great way to take really good screenshots without any extra mods, or it can be used to increase your frames per second at the cost of visual fidelity. Now the shadow resolution multiplier is very similar, except it's only relating to the shadow resolution or the shadow map. If you didn't mind block your shadows, but wanted a higher frame rate, you could lower this to 0.3 or 0.5, or you could raise it to 2.0 for better screenshots. Now hand depth, don't touch this. The shaders are optimized the way they are without this option being changed. Now for cloud shadows, keep them off. The shaders have their own procedural clouds anyways, and we'll get to that in a second. Tweak block damage, you want this on, and old lighting, you want this off. The shaders are optimized to have their own lighting engine. Now once you're finished, go to done, then go to video settings, then go to details, and make sure clouds are off. Like I said before, the shaders have their own procedural clouds, which look really, really good. Keeping the clouds off here will make sure that the only clouds you're seeing are from the shaders. And that's it. Go to done, 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 and start playing and enjoying the graphics of Sonic Ether's unbelievable shaders. Thanks for watching. I hope this video was useful. See you next time.